Trevor, you've been waiting a long time to put a Purple Heart on that chest. You got to do it, and then you go out and win your debut. What does today mean to you? Yeah, you know, it's uh, pretty special. To, you know, the Purple Heart was, you know, a dream for a long time, so to get it. Uh, felt amazing, and especially with the group of guys I get to curl with. And coming out here today, playing well, is you know pretty amazing, especially with all the fans and sport we have here. You're playing against a guy that has a lot of pedigree at this event, and here you are, the rookie. Were you surprised at how comfortable you felt out there? Uh, no, I mean, you, we, we played James this year already, yeah. so that for that part, it was we weren't scared of who we were playing or anything like that. But, you know, of course, it's, you know, the lights and the ice and everything are a little different. But you just have to remember that the you know the length of the ice is still the same and the rocks still way the same and we know how to throw the rocks so we just had to remember that. As much as you, you can say that to yourself till you're blue in the face, but you won't <laughs> actually do it. Did you surprise yourself today? No, no. Like we we worked hard for this and you know we uh, we came we came here to be pre or we prepared to be you know successful here. So I don't want to say we're surprised at all. No. And and the other side of that coin is you've had experience wearing the maple leaf and yep. you know that kind of burden. So. That had to help you coming in here. Oh, well. for yeah, for sure. Like the experiences that we've had over the years, like with uh, the mix and doubles and everything, uh, it always helps. So you know, you just lean on that, and every game you play gives you a little more experience. Okay, Brendan, how did you feel out there? Your first game, one with the prior. Great, great. You know, this was a great city to me a handful of years back. Had a lot of fun here, and just great to come out here, have a real good game out of the gate, and play well. How would you assess the team's confidence level coming into this week? I think we're confident. We've we've been having a great season. We've been working hard. I really feel like we're doing all the right things, and just awesome to come out here, get a good game under our belt, kind of get the ball moving and feeling good. Does the team overall have a better chemistry together this season? Just because this is your second season together? Absolutely. I think you spend a little bit more time with guys, do a few fun things off the ice over the summer. You really get to know each other a little bit better, and I'd say we're a great five-man unit now, including with our coach Paul, and it's just a lot of fun out there. You guys decided to tackle this week at the Polo's Dare Fleet. Did you learn anything from last year's Briar at all? No, you, you know, the Briar's a long week, so you really got to go one game at a time, and I thought we did that last year in all honesty, but it's going to be our formula here this week. We've got to come out with another good game tomorrow. I guess if there was any doubt about the Manitoba Championship, now there's none right so ever. Outright Manitoba Champions as of today. Yeah, no, it was a great first game. Uh, we got some breaks. I must say, you know, it, Matt had two big misses, uh, one early and, and one later in the game that I'm sure he wants back. Uh, those were big on the scoreboard. But uh, we were able to, you know, just keep plugging away and um, make all the shots that we had to make in order to close that game out, and that's a big first win for us. There's a lot of evolution with this team in terms of comfort with each other and just yeah. knowledge of deliveries and all that thing. This team's come a long way in a relatively short time. Yeah, this this team, like, we've all been working very hard uh, to to get our deliveries and our, our fundamentals uh, dialed in as close as we can to each other. I mean, every team will forever be working on that. Uh, but I think more than anything, the dynamic um, continues to to get stronger, and uh, we're having fun. I think that's the, one of the biggest um, keys to this team so far is we're enjoying one another's company on and off the ice, and we're having fun, and we've got a really a growth mindset, and I think that's uh, something we need to continue to have. You, you look like you had your draw weight right from the get-go. How important is that today? Yeah, I mean... It was nice to be able to, I said to Reed actually throughout that game, uh, I threw a lot of draws that game. At least it felt like, I think I threw a lot of draws that game, and that's never a bad thing. It was great to throw a bunch of draws. At, you know, in order to win a championship like this, any championship, you got to have four foot in your back pocket. And that was the exact shot that I was hoping to have to win that game was, uh, you know, a draw right into the four foot there. And, and we made it, and uh, that was great. How did you feel about the percentages on that shot before you threw it? Like, what was your likelihood there? Yeah, it's one of those shots you uh, you want to have the rock in your hand in the 10th end. And uh, I, I knew the shot was there, and we were running out of time. Um, I'm not as good as Kui in those last uh, last couple of seconds. But, no, I felt pretty confident with it. Um, I knew if I got by the guard and hit kind of all I could see, I was going to make the double and kind of jam my shooter. And lucky enough, uh, it, it turned out to be okay. Um, uh, I think your fist pump and Glenn's kind of said it all, but maybe describe your feeling and winning your, your first game skipping here. Yeah, you know what, I've always wanted to skip in a briar, and, and uh, this is the time that it's come to true. So, um, yeah, no, it's good, and, and selling is so much fun, and 
uh, yeah, just glad that we're out there. The boys are playing well. And to get that first win at the Briar means so much because uh, it's a tough field and, and every win so important here. So we were leaking a little bit of oil in the last couple ends, but uh, to get that uh, two or three in the last end was very crucial for us and glad we can keep that momentum going forward. How ready did you feel to skip here? Very ready. To okay, be honest, nice. yeah, I've got a lot of confidence coming in right now. We've uh, we've had a couple of events that we've been very successful at, and I've been skipping. So, uh, yeah, no, I'm feeling pretty confident, and, um, yeah, hopefully uh, the week goes on. We can keep uh, our momentum going, playing a little bit better. We didn't play our best game there, so hopefully we can pick it up in our next game. In a lot of people's minds, you guys might have been a bit of a mystery team, not knowing <laughs> what to expect. I, know, I don't think internally you guys thought that, though. No, exactly. I'm sure a lot of people think we're a mystery team uh, with Matt coming on and, and that's, skipping's not my uh, regular position, but uh, we've been doing some damage on the tour and uh, we're just confident. Me and Dave are at back end. We've seen pretty uh, in gel and stuff like that. So yeah, hopefully uh, we can just keep playing like we're playing and, and keep that momentum going forward. I know you've been skipping this season, but does it feel a different skipping here than in other events? Uh, yes and no. Um, I've been lucky to come to a few briars now. I feel confident now. Um, the skipping thing is, it's uh, yeah, it's a little different for me. I'm not used to it. But uh, the last couple of events, I've been skipping, and I've uh, played skip on a couple times on tour the last couple of years. So I feel confident there. But uh, it's always a learning curve skipping at the national event. But yeah, if, if the boys keep playing well, and we can just keep moving forward with that.